Hello from Lloyd BMW. Today we have uh, something uh, quite special. This is the uh, 7 Series, but this is the long wheelbase 7 Series. This is the uh, this is the daddy, this is the big boy. Absolutely uh, stunning car. Uh, this car is brand new. Uh, it is available for sale. Um, so uh, if you are interested, then give us a shout. I'll try and go through some of the features on this car. Um, so you've got the absolutely stunning paintwork there. Um, You've then got these beautiful diamond cut wheels. Um, you've then got the M Sport brakes behind there as well, which you can just see poking through the uh, blue calipers from the M Sport brakes and the little M there on it as well. Um, awesome over here, the, the headlights, you see that blue uh, line through the, 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 um, the headlights. That means that they are lasers, laser lights. So uh, really, really bright. Um, Really great range on it as, as well. Whilst I'm around the front, I suppose we might as well talk about the grill. So obviously, massive imposing grill on the 7 Series. Uh, I like it, I know some people don't, but uh, uh, really, really imposing. I think it suits the uh, suits the car a lot. Um, just come around the side. So the long wheel, basically you get the longer wheel base <laughs> version. Uh, so you get more room in the back. Again, if you look at that rear door, you'll see it's a really big rear door. Uh, start with a look in the front. So you have this beautiful light leather interior. Um, really, really nice. Nice detail stitching on there as well. Uh, really light in here because you've got the glass roof. So a nice little feature on, on, on this car. Uh, you've also got the Harman Kardon sound system on here. Um, what else we've got over here? We've got electric windows, uh, electric mirrors, uh, electric boot switch. You've got this beautiful uh, wood, wood trim on there as well. It's just jumping and uh, whilst I'm jumping in you can see the seats so you've got the electric memory seats as well there the buttons are on the uh, on the door uh, soft closed doors nice little little feature uh, pretty much like most BMWs nowadays uh, it's a keyless start so as long as your foot's on the brake press the start button the steering wheel just lowers down into position there uh, digital dashboard so you've got the sat-nav screen on there as well. Um, and obviously you've got the speedo rev counter, things like that. M Sport steering wheel, so you've got a, uh, a thicker rim with the uh, sort of thumb hooks in there as well. You've also got on the steering wheel, the paddles for the gears, so you can choose to change the gears manually or just leave the gear uh, in drive. So down in drive and it'll just change automatically. It's a really great gearbox, um, really, really responsive. I tend to just leave it in its own, in drive, it'll sort itself out. If you really want to take control, you can flick the uh, uh, stick to the left and then you can flick up and down through the gears or you've got the paddles on the steering wheel. So whilst I'm also on the steering wheel, you've got the heated uh, heated steering wheel, so a little button on there to uh, turn the heated steering wheel on and turn it off again. Uh, Multi-function steering wheel, so over here uh, you've got the different uh, uh, modes and, and cruise control you've got active cruise control on there as well and you can adjust the, the speeds of that on the other side you've got your bluetooth telephone you've got voice control um, so if you want to turn um, functions on on the car you can use the voice control rather than having to press the buttons uh, volume control over here as well um, automatic lights let's turn that to the a uh, front and rear fog lights as as well uh, you've also got automatic focus there you go automatic wipers uh, just press uh, sorry just move it up uh, there you go whoops one more there you go um, little green light comes on and then you've got automatic wipers as, as well uh, lovely dashboard uh, nice nice touch on here and whilst I'm looking at the dashboard hopefully I'll get it into focus you've got head-up display so hopefully you can see there it says the speed which is zero miles an hour because I'm not driving of course uh, and then you've got the speed um, as well uh, on there, which is a nice little function. Sat nav screen, really big, nice sat nav screen on here as well. So you've obviously got functions that you'd expect. Oops, zoom out a little bit there. Uh, things like map, Bluetooth, DAB radio, uh, that's all on, on there. Just uh, And that's all controlled through this eye controller over here. So we can move up and down through, through here. And then we've got all the settings and stuff like that. So there you go general settings, driving modes, um, displays you can change, um, yeah 
there's loads you can spend literally all day so nice little touch i like is the uh, choice of colors um so you can choose probably not see very well in this light uh but you can choose the choice uh, of interior lights inside the car which is a nice little nice little touch something on purple shall we lilac um beneath that you've got the temperature controls you've got some favorite buttons down here as well which will uh program you can program with um people's phone numbers places uh, radio stations stuff like that individual left and right climate control so no more argument with the passenger um so you, the passenger and driver can there you go can have slightly different uh, temperatures uh, or press this button sync and it puts them both together uh, so it's heated uh, so it's air conditioning and climate control and then you've got the heated seats as well uh, so you've got these three different stages oops there we go um, in front of that you've got some storage you've got a wireless charging pad so if you've got uh, iphone i think it's eight onwards um with the wireless charging or the, some of the androids um your wireless charge on there if you haven't you've still got a usb port so you can plug your phone into charge uh, a couple of drinks holders in there as well eight speed automatic gearbox and then you've got different uh, driving modes on this side Try to focus there for you so you've got traction control at the top turn it on and off sport mode comfort mode eco pro every time the car starts it'll start in comfort mode um sport mode will make it feel more responsive and or adaptive uh well the car will just kind of sort itself out uh, so there you go that's the adaptive so if you start wanting to put your foot down it will kind of go more sporty if you're driving really slowly it'll go into the eco pro kind of mode as well uh, parking sensors you'd expect front and rear you've also got cameras on this uh, car as well uh, it's actually your, your front camera um, so if you're pulling out of a junction it just gives you a little bit extra uh, viewing as well uh, you've also got um, cameras all the way around so I'm now looking over here at the, at the rear that green line is where the steering wheels sorry if I move the steering wheel uh, where the actual car will go so uh, you can place it really really nicely uh, and then on this side You've then got the different cameras around it, and again, you can choose what view you have from those cameras. So, um, no excuses for, for bumping into anything. Uh, nice little, nice little touch on the on the cameras there. Um, electric handbrake, and you have automatic holders as well. Um, nice storage uh, area. Let's press the button. Storage area in here, and again, you've got a USB-C uh, port in there for fast charging. Um, whilst I'm pulling that out. Key wise, you have this multi button key as, 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 as a kind of standard key, and then you also have this display key which will have things like the fuel range on uh, and stuff like that um, as well. And then you just have this kind of emergency key if you need to get into the car, um, you can use that to, to open the doors. Let's right, stick that back in there. Um, all right, glass roof. So, um, button here, you can tilt it. There you go or you can actually open it so again move that back there you go and then you've got electric sun blind as well which you can uh, close up Whilst I'm up here, you've also got an SOS button. So if you need the emergency services, press this and it'll connect you through to BMW emergency services. Or if you're unfortunate enough to have an accident where the airbag has deployed, uh, because the car has sat nav, um, it knows where you are. It will summon the emergency services for you. So a nice little, little safety feature uh, there for you. Right, let's have a look at the rest of the car. I'll just turn it off on there. So I think as I mentioned earlier, it's a long wheelbase, so you get the massive doors on the on the back, um, and you get loads of leg room, as you can as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to hop in. This car is also fitted with the uh, twin screens in the back, so um, you can lay back and watch television. Um, you know um, and again you can see what sort of functions the car's doing there's this uh, tablet which is uh, in here so we can uh, play around with uh, with this and we can select what we what we want to do what we want to watch um, etc we also have electric into focus electric seats in the back so again 
I'm sure you can get very comfortable. And then you've also got heated seats in the back and you've got climate control in there as, as, as well. So uh, very, very well, well catered for. Uh, Harman Kardon sound system throughout the car. And again, you've got the, the electric uh, seats uh, you can set. Um, you've even got your own air vent in the in the back here as as well. Um, I'll try not to show my uh, my face too much, but uh, uh, you've also got some nice vanity mirrors. I'll show you that again um, in the roof there. So uh, nice little uh, nice little touch. Uh, you can imagine just wafting around in uh, in this car on the air suspension. Just really really uh, comfortable. Nice little uh, touch on the headrest there. It's an extra soft bit. Um, yeah, you can almost see yourself just falling asleep in the back here and just uh, being being driven around. Very, very, uh, very, very nice. Uh, right, we'll have a look in the boot. So, electric boot opening. Massive boot on the 7 Series. Takes all your luggage in there. Get your golf clubs in there or, or, or whatever you want to carry. Um, Again, electric boot, so press the button, or you can do that on the key. You can see the badging on there, so 740, so that's a 3 litre twin turbo diesel engine. L for the long wheelbase, and obviously D for the diesel. Um, X drive, so it's a four wheel drive car. You can just see the rear view camera cloaking under there as well. Hopefully, you'll agree it's a very imposing, very majestic uh, car. Really, really uh, good looking, and uh, currently for sale. If this is of interest, then give us a shout. We can work out any finance figures for you, uh, range uh, test drives, anything like that. Um, but in the meantime, thank you very much for watching.